Okay, so I truly do believe that the universe is always there helping us, guiding us into defining our lives and, and discovering what our purpose is. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be in these big, grandiose type of ways, but just in everyday little things that we do can impact each other. That's why we're social creatures. And I think the universe tries to guide us into making the best decisions, even when sometimes we have no clue what why we're doing what we're doing. There's a reason behind it. I'm going to give you a story of something that just recently happened to me, which for me at least kind of proves this theory of mine that the universe is using us. It's using me, flaws and all. So give me a like while the intro plays. I don't know this is going to be too but I'm curious. So picture it, it's Tuesday morning, I wake up at 5 a.m. like I always do and start to get ready for work. So now while I'm in the shower, I get this random ass thought of an old friend of mine whom I hadn't heard from, I hadn't seen, I hadn't thought of in ages. And I just uploaded a separate video about my friend Maria. So thinking, okay, this is a random thought, but continue on with my day. While I'm at work, I get a few more reminders out of nowhere about this friend of mine. So whenever that happens, to me, it's like the universe, are you trying to tell me something? And then it will kind of make the, the topic kind of jumps out at me. In this case, it didn't. And I'm thinking like, eventually I'm like, universe, are you trying to tell me something? Because I'm not getting it. <laughs> and then the universe is like, Really, dude, like, I, I really, I can't with you. Like, do I have to spell everything out? And I'm like, this time you kind of do. I'm not getting it. So <laughs> I got the inspiration to make the video. So Thursday, which was 4th of July in the States here, I make the video. And here's the thing. Those types of videos where I'm speaking about a friend or a family member, like, those are super hard for me to make because at least for me, the way that I approach it is like, I feel like I'm, I want to give a gift. I want to give a gift from my heart and my soul. And so because of that, I want it to be perfect. And so um, I did like 20 takes of that, of that video. And it just every time I would listen to it, I would go, oh, gosh, it's terrible. So after that last take, I thought just walk away. So that's what I did. Friday. I listen to it again. I still think it's terrible, but I think at a certain point, Mike, you just have to post, you know, you just have to do it because you're never going to find it perfect. So that's kind of like what I did, but I spent so much time, like the editing, I wanted to be perfect. And so it was late Friday night when I actually decided to post it. And then I was super tired. So I just went to bed. So I wake up in the middle of the night, it's like two o'clock in the morning. And I can't figure out why, because again, I'm dog tired. My eyes are still heavy. Like I know that I still need sleep, but at the same time, it's like adrenaline is rushing through my veins. My heart is beating fast and I can't go back to sleep no matter what I try to do. So eventually it's like, okay, I'm just going to grab my cell phone and find a video to watch and just kind of entertain myself back to sleep, hopefully. So first I go to my YouTube channel and I see where there are a couple of comments. Now, first off, I have to say I have the best subscribers in the world. Two comments from subscribers on the other side of the pond, one from the UK and one from Ireland. I'm just going to give you a quick shout out, Gene and Buck. Thank you so much for letting me know that that video was a little jacked up because it was, but yeah, in a nice way, of course. But uh, uh, it was a timestamp, so I check out the video and sure enough, there was a lot of editing errors in it. And again, it was because that day with it being 4th of July and all of these celebrations going on outside with the fire truck sirens and a band playing and cars and all of these people. Like I was so off my game and I should not have done anything. But and again, in such a rush to just post it, I did it without, yeah, it was what it was. So I replied back thanking them and saying that, I'm, you know, I've deleted the video and that maybe I'll post it later on. But here's the thing, in me trying to decide what to do, you should never make a decision at like two or three o'clock in the morning, especially when you're super tired, because what voice did I, did I hear? That of my inner saboteur saying, you know what, what Mikey, it's a stupid video about a friend of yours. Like no one cares about that stuff. Just freaking delete it and just keep it pushing, like keep moving forward. So that's really what I intended to do. 
um, cause I listened to that voice, which you should never do, but I did. And, um, eventually I go back to sleep. So what happens? I wake up the next morning and a couple of more comments from them. Both said the same thing, but for different reasons, which was, yeah, do repost it. Cause I was going to comment on it. And man, that was a freaking moment where like everything became clear. First off, I had to get out of my head, out of my way, realize that what I am doing isn't just about me. That, And here's the other thing. Last week, I was having a conversation with my coworker, just trying to get some feedback on her YouTube, like what she watches and why, and just trying to figure out uh, the average user, you know, and, you know, she's young and gave me advice like she was Maya Angelou. Like, that's kind of like how I took it. But she was she basically said, because she watches all this random stuff that I, I wouldn't watch. <laughs> and she goes, if you feel like you need to make a video about something, then just make it and post it. And trust me, that's going to appeal to people out there. It doesn't matter why they're watching it. It doesn't matter how many people watch it, but someone's going to enjoy, someone's going to be able to re relate, someone's going to benefit from your video, even if you don't know why, that doesn't matter. All that matters is that they do. And I was like, look at you. <laughs> you know, I said at the time, I'm thinking, wow, yeah, that, that's solid advice. That was all, only a week ago, and I still let that inner saboteur take away that advice take it away from me because I didn't pay attention to it. She was absolutely right. And it was this realization that I wanted to make the video and that's why I should post it. And that's why it should be good. It should be good because I want to put it out there and I want to share that part of myself. And again, why someone likes it, why someone enjoys it, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that they do, <sighs> you know? So that was like, you have to redo it and you have to post it. So. Again, that's why I did, but the purpose of me making this video was, again, to say that I think the universe, for whatever reason that I'm not even sure of, is using me, even with the flaws. Flaws and all, I think that I have a, something to contribute to society. And I wanted you guys to know that the universe is actually doing the same to you too. <laughs> like we all have a purpose. We all are being called to do something. And so um, if you're not doing this, just a suggestion with your life. Just keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. Keep your heart open to any signs that you might be getting from the universe. And if you feel that whatever, if you have this desire, this urge to do something, and it's going to be something that you think is positive, then do it because I think it's the universe using you flaws and all. So I hope you like this video. Again, I love making these types of videos. A like would be great, a subscribe would be even better, but most importantly, comment and just let me know your thoughts on just being inspired and what you, on any of this stuff. I'd love to know about it. Bye.